Welcome back to the Danbury Ice Room. I'm Justin Mazzarisi, and you're listening to that AM 940-1510 ESPN Radio. Right now, uh, we got a two different game going on. It's a broom ball game, which has Section 102 in the black going against Adirondack Section H. Uh, it's about a hockey. It's pretty much about hockey, and uh, Section 102 is moving the puck or moving the ball around. Uh, each player right now has a broom, and they're sufficing around. Uh, 102 wearing the black sweaters, and they have names taped uh, with white hockey tape to the back. They don't have numbers, and I'll be honest, I don't know who's who right now for the uh, Section 102 team, and they're they're the Trashers. Mm-hmm. They're the uh, Team 102 squad, while the Adirondack Donkey Boys, and you have to credit their professionalism for this. They've got names, they've got numbers, so I know who those guys are. Team 102 has it in the... Uh, Adirondack zone, shot on goal was wide. Puck held in at the left point. 102 trying to take a one nothing lead. It's a seven minute game. And now here comes the Adirondack side. Over the line in the high slot, a little shot comes in wide as one of the Adirondack fans knocked down. That was number 71, SpongeBob the Goon Hens with the shot. And he's got it back in the far corner, slides down to the ice. Behind the net to double zero, the real screech. It was the smallest player out there for the Section 8 guys, the Adirondack Donkey Boys. As 102 plays it out to center scoreless here with 5.20 left to play in the broom ball of the game. On the near side, it's Cookie Monster in front of the Danbury bench into the Danbury zone. Shot from the left circle by Oscar, number 29, is stopped by Ziegler, the goalie for Team 102. Oh. And now 102, one of their guys takes a spill as the puck is cleared out to center ice. Puck in the neutral zone right now. You're right, Justin. The game is played just like hockey, except they use these little plastic sticks with a room-like ending. Team 102 and trying to streak out for it. It seems like they don't have any skates on, and they're flying all over the place right now. Uh, section 102 is trying to get some puck movement going on right now, but... Really not working. Right, right, right now, both teams really are just having some trouble. Yeah. The puck. <laughs> we're not lo- we're not looking at an extreme athletic display on either side. As Screech drops it off, number 18, Section H.com tried to keep it in. He couldn't catch up to the ball, which is smaller than a dodgeball, and it rolls around inside the Team 102 zone. From the left side, it's held in by the real Screech, and now it is number 18, Section H.com. Poked off to the far side boards. All the players wearing helmets. I'm honest. I don't know who's on Team 102 right now. Basically, they got Trasher warm-up shirts, which they wear for practice. The defensemen often wear the black tops, and they just have the names taped on the back, so I can't see who's who. Well, uh, just to run down the starting lineup, at a goalie for 102 is Rick Ziegler. Uh, Defense, it's Biscuits and Gravy. Uh, The other defender is Police Officer Murph. At left wing, it's Chris Shag Poo. At right wing, it's Trasher Young and Steve. At center, it's Mikey V. At center, at uh, the other center, it's Dennis with head coach Anthony Ballou. And I know Ballou, and he's on the he's on the visiting bench by section 102, which is appropriate for those guys. There's only 3:20 left in the broom ball game. They don't have offsides or anything like that, so you don't have or to worry about for that matter. No, it's still scoreless between 102 and section H. Someone looking for the first goal of the game. There's 102 out in front looking to shoot. And it comes out a little bit wide. A good job by Adirondack to keep the puck away from their goaltender, who is, uh, I don't even know, I think it's El Diablo is the goaltender. I believe, I'm not even sure, to be all that honest with you, because I can't see his number. And the Adirondack roster doesn't have positions, but they do have numbers, and I prefer that over having the positions personally. It's only 240 left in this game. 102 maybe has had the best scoring chance in this game. Now they got a two-on-one setting up in the Adirondack zone, but they're taking forever to set up with it. SpongeBob the Goon Pan just entered the uh, ice. There's a shot in front. It got past El Diablo, but he was able to keep that in front of the net. 102 looking to set up again from the right side. And I'm sure if you're listening on radio, this has to sound like a complete mess right now. And honestly, in person pretty much is it is although adirondack right now looking to set something up the donkey boys wearing orange shirts with black trim spongebob the goon pants 
has it inside the Danbury zone. Try to wind up for a slap shot yeah, now. Looks like they're setting up a power play almost. Now he tried to wrist it in. That one was knocked down. Krusty now with it in the near corner. Krusty is actually section H, row 15. And now Screech tries to move it into the slot, poked away. And 102 gets it out to center. Still no score. And this will be continued on April 1st in Glens Falls, New York. And hopefully by then, section 102 will have some better. Uh... So we're going to have a fight. Wait a minute. What's going on here? There's a fight between an old guy and Screech. And they're just kind of messing around right now. Really not much of a fight as they're just kind of biffing each other. I think uh, the Trasher fan is about to have the sweater pulled over his head. And now one of the Frostbite fans are just breaking that up because it's about to get silly. And now 71 SpongeBob the Goon Pants, they're having fun. Just fooling around. As there's a minute 10, they actually stop the clock for this. Uh, nope, now they keep going with the clock. Puck is, uh, or the ball, rather, is back in the 102 section. Final minute of play. The 102 goaltender, Ziegler, has not only a broom, but he's got a paddle and a glove, and he really hasn't had to use it. And now 102 looking to start a breakaway here. They've got a oh, three-on-one. Here we go. Three-on-one for 102. Oscar tries to clear the zone. Oh, he gets to it for Adirondack, and they get it out of the zone as the Trashers. Section 102 had a three-on-one. They were not able to get a shot anywhere near the goal. And now on the near side, here's SpongeBob the Goon Pants. Over the Team 102 line, centering pass of the slot is cleared away. 20 seconds left. Now the real screech from the top of the left circle moves it into the corner. SpongeBob the Goon Pants looks winded. Back along the near side. Danbury just looking to get it out of the zone. And they get it out the center. There's 10 seconds left. They're trying to get the ball in there. You'd think they would just kick it. And they haven't done that. Four seconds left. They're holding the time. They get a shot off on goal. They start the clock back up. And now time runs out here in the broom ball game, which ends in a 0-0 tie. Just craziness here at the Danbury Ice Arena. So this is going to continue on April 1st, you said? You go from an outstanding period of hockey between the Frostbite and the Trashers to this broom ball game. But it's fun for everyone. That's the best part. We're going to take a break. We'll come back with highlights and scores in just a couple of minutes. You're listening to Danbury Trashers Hockey on AM 940 and 1510 ESPN Radio. I didn't know All right, four minutes here. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> That's fine. Four minutes? Okay. Uh, so do you want to put the fight on? Uh, can you look at some scores? Scores? UHL scores. Oh, shoot up. Oh, Jesus. Uh oh. If you let a ball get to you. Take the blocker off. You go up here. Up here, this bottom, this bottom one, I think. I don't know. I'm sure you'll use Phil's then.
How much time? 20 seconds. 20 seconds? All right, Justin, you're on at 20 seconds. We could do highlights first. Oh, one minute, 20 seconds. I'm sorry. When you got on, mentioned that 102 had a shot and they scored in the uh, shootout. What's that? Yeah, I'll bring those up for you. I'll bring them up. Hold on.